Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to teach you about bubble sort techniques. How to sort an array using bubble sort techniques. So, suppose we have given an array like that. You can see that on the screen. In array, there are four numbers. 4, 3, 2, 1. In, we know that, we all know that the indexing of the array starts from 0 to 1 to 2 and 3. So, what we do is for sorting, we will use swapping technique. We will swap this index, this value with this value. We will, uh, I will implement in uh, paint, I will show you how to. I have to write that code, let's write that part into this. We, what we will do is, we will simply swap the index number 0 value with the index number 1 value. Uh, how we can do that? Uh, so, for that, I will write a code here. I, we will use uh, if statement here. If, if index number 0 uh, I'm going to take a variable name a which uh, having an index number 0 like that I'm not good with uh, <laughs> writing but I'm quite good with uh, programming so sorry for that don't uh, don't go for that part I'm not good with spelling <laughs> so if the uh, so we will carry on with our coding part so uh, if the if a0 a0 is greater than a0 plus 1 we will do simply here we will do simply swapping here we will perform swapping in this column in, inside of uh, if statement so I hope you know the code of swapping so if you don't know I will implement the code I will implement the code uh, uh, before that I am going to show a presentation how it's work so that uh, uh, yeah here you can see that in index number 0 what will be the value the value is 4 and 3 and 2 and 1 ok so what we need to do is we have to take uh, two loops one outer loop and one inner loop outer loop outer loop uh, will uh, represent your rounds how many sounds you have to perform here and inner loops will perform your swapping task uh, like uh, firstly we have 0 in index number we have 4 there in index number 1 we have 3 there so in the i loop will iterate then it will check the statement if the index number 0 is greater than index number 3 no, sorry index number 1 then it will swap the number then it will become 3 and 4 then again the value of i will be incremented then i became 1 i less than equals to 3 is 2 and i plus plus and after that it will check that index number 1 index number 1 and index number 2 if the index number 1 is greater than index number 2 then it will swap it will perform swapping then after swapping it will look like 2 will be on 1 and 4 will be on 2 then after that you can see that i iterating again i will become 2 now here uh, now it will perform again perform swapping here because 4 will be 4 is uh, greater than 1 because index 2 is uh, 
x2 the value of index 2 is greater than index 1 so we will perform the swapping here after completion of now our iteration how many times we need 0 1 2 2 3 times we have to run our loop here 3 times so i will write that i will write it 2 how many times our loop has iterate here 0 1 2 you can see that you 0 1 2 so we can write the part uh, that uh, our loop has iterate three times here so what what we're gonna ha happen next is the round so round, the value of round will be incremented and it will it will be one now then uh, after completion of round zero we can see that our loop has completed then after that the value we can see that there in index number zero there is three index number one there is two index number two there is one the largest largest value on the uh, array has gone move, gone to last and last move to last index so we uh, so we have to perform perform swapping again in round number one because we have not to sort our array yet we have just to move our largest value into the last index so after that up in round number one what what gonna happen the same gonna, same as earlier you can see that index number zero if index number zero is greater than greater than index number one then the, they will perform swapping then uh, now listen one thing now how many times we have to perform this task how many times we have to perform swapping here only two times only two times listen listen carefully i have also done that mistake in my interview room uh, because i have write that part in three i have uh, run that loop uh, till three we have we don't have to run that loop or uh, our loop uh, three times so we will do one thing here i will decrement i will decrement round here simply i will decrement round here round here oh sorry sorry for that uh, i will decrement round here because how many times i have to iterate here you can see that zero one then uh, you can see that in first in when the value of i become zero then we have to swap that part when the value of i become one we have to swap that part also so uh, we when the value becomes one then two minus one two minus round equals to two minus round equals to one then our task has been performed in now we can see that in next part what gonna happen after completion of round one then we can see that our value has been sought and now largest value of uh, set has been in last place moved to last place so we can clearly see that three has moved to last place so now we have to perform just one pound swapping here because because other has been swapped other other value has been swapped then we don't need to swap three times here so simply we will do here this i will do i will decrement decrement round here so, uh, i will decrement round here uh, okay okay i will take that part i will yeah yeah you can see that now now 
what gonna happen here is when the value of i becomes zero then it will be check the condition i less than equals to 2 minus 2 which means 2 minus 2 is zero then it will run and after running it will check that part that if the value of zero index zero and value of index one if they were, if zero is greater than one then it will swap again after swapping we can see that the lowest value becomes lowest value came into index number zero and the the largest value becomes uh, goes to num index number two so that's what we need now you can see that our array has been sort that's that's are the steps you have to follow you have to just perform swapping here you don't need to do any logic here just write uh, your your code here and just uh, try and run if you don't know how to try and run just uh, uh, do some practice on pen or paper take some pen or paper uh, how to try and run our code so i will surely uh, i will surely create a video on dry and run dry and run code how to dry and run so uh, let's uh, let's begin let's moving on to our coding part i will run that code also okay but listen one thing how many times i have used round here how many times i have increment how, in how many rounds it has been sorted round zero round one round two then why i am taking three here it has been time it will take uh, uh, it will consume time in our program if i take three here i will i will simply write that three minus one here or i can write that part as a two in three rounds our sorting has been complete so i will same thing here i will write that two here I will write uh, two here also. So our sorting has been complete. Presentation has been complete. Now recording what? So let's start with our coding. Yeah. So for coding, I'm going to take a uh, integer variable which uh, which have which have four values four three two one okay you can see that now now what we need to do what we need to do we have to take outer loop for outer loop I'm going to take int round here. The initial value of round will be zero. And how many times we have to perform for round? So we know that how many times we have to perform round here. Yeah, it will be round less than equals to two times. We know that now we have completed that part also. I have shown you how many rounds we need here to sort an array. Okay. So now we have to increment value of round here. Simply. Now uh, the out no the outer loop has been complete. Now for inner loop. I will take a uh, inner loop here. So this let's I will take a inner loop here. The uh, I will take a variable name i. Starts from starts from zero. You know that in, in inner loop 
what we have done in our previous part we have to take our i value till how many times how many times let's see how many times we have to take here how many times we i have we have to take the value of round int i equals to round two minus round how many times two minus round if i take three i will show you what gonna happen if i take three here if i take three because the number of element is for the so indexing start from zero one two three i will show you what gonna happen here uh, i plus plus okay now what we need here we need to perform swapping here for swapping i will take a variable name int temp temp okay the temp uh, now int temp we have taken in temp we will write that if part here if the value of a a0 a0 we need to we need to take 0 but uh, rather than taking 0 we can take i also i will be 0 it will be 0 then we can take if a i greater than a a i plus 1 then we have to perform swapping here for swapping i will i will simply assign the value of a i into temp and after assigning ai i will assign the value of ai plus 1 into ai yeah. ai plus one. yeah just we have to perform simply you sh you have to good with the swapping also to perform to sort an array you need to you need to know how to swap uh, two variables uh, using three uh, using third variable how to swap two variables using three, uh, third, uh, using three variables or something like that after that uh, what i will do is here is i will just i will just assign the value of a uh, temp into ai plus one now now see we have performed the task perform the swapping here now what gonna happen here is after swapping what we need here we have to we also need to print the values so we will take a for loop here also i will copy that part i will take that for loop okay. i will print and take a change just uh, need to print we just need to print a line here system dot out dot print and line okay we just need to print the value of a j now uh, what gonna happen here is if I execute this code what is gonna happen I will show you I have done that mistake in my interview uh, most of people will done that similar same mistake in the interviews so it's it not gonna execute yeah exception in main thread because array index of bound 
because you can you have to notice that part if uh, the value of ai if i will show you i will show you here i will show you in part i will show you if the value of if the value of ai is going to become three here three here then it will check that a 3 plus 1 3 plus 1 no you can see that no? i have also done <laughs> that mistake in my interview uh, interview asked me that uh, just uh, write a bubble sort uh, technique uh, write a sorting technique to sort that array or i have done that mistake there because we know that the what will the last last indexing of uh, array it will be 3 then there it will become 4 so it will give uh, exception because there is no auto search index like uh, a4 so there is not an index like such like that so what will we do i will i will use to minus i'll use to rather than using minus round okay i can use that it will it will sort my array 0 1 2 3 okay it will sort my array yeah it be it will sort my array yeah the array has been sorted so i hope you enjoy that part you can write that also you can if you want to uh, uh, re reduce the uh, execution of a program then you can write that part also you can write that uh, Uh, two minus round also. I'll show you. I'll show you. Two minus round. It will. I hope it will execute. Yeah, it is executing. So I hope you like that video. Mm, so keep supporting me. And so just uh, comment uh, comments on the comment section and tell me what you need to learn. and i will upload i will surely upload more videos thank you bye bye